Not enough people know about this for me. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miltania. Today we are gonna be talking about just the most random list of things that I just love or like or have been using forever. There's no particular genre, no particular order, just kind of everything that I've been using over quarantine throughout the year. So let's get right into it. So this is the first thing. It's the matcha almond beverage from Trader Joe's. It is just so good it's creamy first of all i knew i was gonna be a matcha girl from the day i started seeing matcha pop up everywhere and i was like you know what i'm not gonna try it because i don't want to be that matcha girl it was just so trendy and i was like i'm not getting it like i was just being obnoxious for no reason but i just love this it's obviously dairy free um it's also gluten free and lactose free and also soy free and vegan i feel like i kind of have a dairy intolerance I, I don't know we just don't we don't click like we used to. But this is so good. I drink it like in the daytime or in the nighttime or just if I want kind of like a little beverage y kind of situation because I basically only drink water and tea and that's it. Like I drink nothing else but water and hot tea. But this is kind of like my dessert or like my treat if I kind of want something that's a little bit different. Next, uh, we have the also Trader Joe's, the organic Moroccan mint tea. I drink this every day. Like I only have. Two two bag two blah, blah, blah. two two. I only have two tea bags left. I only have two tea bags left. I get it every single time I go to Trader Joe's. I should probably buy like ten packs basically, just so I can have it all the time. But it's nice. It's kind of very mild. Sometimes green teas can be a little bit like jarring, but this one's actually really good. And so I just I just love it. I drink it like every single day. The next thing is this native deodorant. I just really like this deodorant because. I don't know, it just smells really nice. It's also paraben and aluminum free. So the smell for this one is jasmine cedar and it kind of smells exactly like that. It's kind of have it's like the sweet undertone of jasmine, but it's kind of woodsy and a, like very slightly masculine. It's very fresh, it's a really fresh scent. And so far I've been just loving this deodorant. I kind of had to take a few days to purge and then I started using this and so far it's really good. I was using another brand, I think, I can't remember which brand it was, that when I was like in the phase of trying to get deodorants that were aluminum free and it did not go well. Like I was outside in like 90 degree weather and I had to like run to CVS and get a Dove or something like that because it, it was just not okay. The next thing is the Trader Joe's, wow, I have a lot of, okay. I actually don't. This is like the last Trader Joe's thing. This is the coconut body butter from Trader Joe's. It has coconut oil, shea butter, and vitamin E. I've been using it for like two years. I think one of my friends put me on and I have really sensitive skin. I also have eczema, so I can't really use a lot of products because anything and my skin is just ready to pop off. I have to be really careful about what I put on my body. But unlike a lot of products, this feels really good going on and it also just keeps my body moisturized but doesn't make me itch and it doesn't make me feel uncomfortable so I really really enjoy this product and as you can see it's empty I haven't left my house in a very long time so I have to re-up on a lot of things unless like something comes along that's better than this I probably won't be changing next we have these two products they're now solutions I think my boyfriend got these for me I've been using them for a very long time but I think he got these at either the vitamin shop or at GNC one of the two I don't remember which one this is the sweet almond moisturizing oil and then I also have the avocado moisturizing oil when I get out of the shower, I'm still a little bit damp and so I like to use these like right after and I just pair them with the coconut body butter from Trader Joe's chef's kiss I do it right before I get right after I get out of the shower before bed I try not to go to bed right before because then I just end up getting everything on my sheets but nonetheless they are amazing I try to use the sweet almond one in the summer and springtime and then I use the avocado oil in the fall and winter time just because it's kind of like a denser oil this one is a little bit like uh, it's a lighter body oil and then the avocado oil is thicker it's kind of a richer, thicker oil. So I try to use that one mostly in the winter or like the fall time because it helps to keep me a little bit more moisturized than the sweet almond oil does. These are kind of just, like I, I, I'm not even gonna lie, the only reason I even thought about doing any sort of favorites video was these products. Like 
no cap no cap not enough people know about this for me it's the necessaire body exfoliator and their body wash so i'll start with the body wash the body wash is really nice it is fragrance free so you only smell the ingredients basically but it's very light like the whatever you do smell is very light it's not irritating at all the reason i use the fragrance free one is again eczema anything that i use for my body basically is to make sure that i'm not irritating my eczema or to kind of uh soothe my eczema if i'm having a flare-up at the moment i use this almost every single day there's nothing in it that irritates me it's also very smooth it's like I don't know how to explain it because you ever use a body wash and you kind of just have a film after you're done. It just feels like it's not all washed off. And this actually makes your skin feel soft without that weird film that a lot of products leave behind. And then the body exfoliator is just amazing. Inside, I think, I don't have the box with me, but this has glycolic acid, salicylic acid, lactic acid. It also has pumice and bamboo charcoal. And this, the smell is really subtle. This one is bergamot. I've also tried the sandalwood. To me, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, the bergamot and the sandalwood smell this exact same. Same. Me and my boyfriend, we both love and use these products and I had him smell the sandalwood and this one and we couldn't really tell a difference. They are a little masculine in smell, they're a little woodsy, but they're not overwhelming or overpowering. The ingredients in here, they help to kind of soften your skin while also cleaning it and getting rid of all of the dead skin on your body. And I use this about maybe one to three times a week depending on what I do that week. If I work out a lot more, I'll use it a few more times, um, but if I'm not as active, I try not to use it as much just because it's not that necessary necessary e. <laughs> it also has helped with my body acne especially when I'm working out it just it just works like y'all would think this is like an ad for this product but it's not I just love it that much yeah that's all that's it videos over that's it I talked about necessary I'm done Next, I have the uh, Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen. I have it in SPF 70. It's really hard to find sunscreens that don't make you look Casperish. I think I got this at Rite Aid or something like that. And I actually read about it on a subreddit, the skincare subreddits on Reddit. First of all, you get a lot of information there. I apply it like 15 minutes before I go outside and you'll have like a little bit of haze and then by the time like it sets in and you're ready to go, it looks like you didn't put anything on. I can reapply it throughout the day with no problem and it just works really well. So this is kind of just my go-to sunscreen for now. The next things are my deep conditioners. I only use two. I went through that whole phase of becoming a natural and going crazy for products and then I tamed myself, relaxed a little, and just settled on two of my favorite deep conditioners. This one is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. I've used a lot of conditioners and a lot of products since I've transitioned into being a natural. And this is one of the only products that makes my hair clump, leave it soft, and I can retain moisture in my hair after I use it. Sometimes I use conditioners and my hair still feels frizzy or dry afterwards. The moment I put this girl on, my hair starts to clump. I can immediately do what I need to do in the shower if I wanna detangle with it in, or if I just wanna put it up and leave it and let it deep condition overnight. I style with this sometimes, not very often, but every now and then just to add a little extra like moisture to my hair. And I know a lot of people know about this product, so I'm not gonna talk about it too much, but yeah, I just really like using this on my hair. And then my next deep conditioner is the Alakay Naturals Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner. First of all, I can only find this in like Target sometimes and in some beauty supply stores. I'm never able to find it everywhere. Some of the ingredients are aloe vera juice, which is the first ingredient on the list. Honey, it has olive oil, eucalyptus oil, some products that I just know that my hair likes a lot. And it kind of works in the same way that the Shea Moisture Deep Conditioner works in that it just locks in moisture in my hair it's kind of expensive i'm not gonna lie it's almost 20 dollars for this eight ounce container eight ounce so it's a little 
pricey to me for the size a little kind of goes a long way but I have a lot of hair so I'll spend the money because I really like this uh, and I'm so happy I found it I don't even remember how I ended up coming across it I think this was back in my experimental days and I just been using it ever since for like three or four years and I just really love it I think I've already talked about this and I'll probably keep talking about it this is the UFO ultra clarifying oil from Sunday Riley it's just amazing it's just amazing I don't know what like what else Good thing I'm on the floor. Take two. That this is the ultra clarifying face oil from Sunday Riley. I'm probably gonna talk about this for the rest of my life whenever I can. It's 1.5% salicylic acid. It just really helps with my breakouts. If I have a pimple and I put it on that night before, guaranteed the next day the pimple's either gone or reduced dramatically in size. If I have a breakout, it helps. If I have a pimple that I want to reduce in size and I use it the night before, it helps. It just it just does such a good job at helping my breakouts, reducing some of the redness that I get from my breakouts. And I'm not even joking, like literally a day later, I will see results from this product if I use it the night before I go to bed. So like, there's nothing more I can say about this other than it's just gonna probably be one of my favorite products for a very long time. Wow, finally getting to the end of this. I really didn't think I had that many things, but apparently I do. Next thing is the Green Clean Makeup Remover from Pharmacy. I think I got this as a sample from Sephora. I'm actually getting the larger one now, and I'm trying to switch from using makeup wipes as much into like using more of a balm to start the clarifying process after I wear makeup and everything during the day um, just because I feel like it'll help a lot more. I'm also just generally trying to reduce the amount of wipes that I use because it does add up. The smell is very subtle. I don't want to say key lime pie because that might give you a wrong impression that it's like sweet but it's not. It's just a very light lime fragrance and it does have lime oil as one of the ingredients so that's the standout fragrance so i'm definitely going to get the larger one to this i'm also probably going to end up getting another small one just to have in my travel bag for whenever i travel again speaking of travel bags the next thing is my base travel bag when i leave or when i travel i'll have some things in one bag i'll have some things in another bag and i'm trying to have something that's more compact i'm trying to make sure that if i'm bringing anything to travel it's all going to fit in this bag and that's makeup facial products and any other small personal items that I have, I'm gonna try to limit myself to having them fit just in this bag, which is probably gonna be a challenge, but I think, I think I can do it. Um, I think it's worth just the downsizing and also just keeping everything compact. And so I'm really excited to use it whenever, like I said, I start leaving my house again. Okay, I think, I feel like that might just be it. I've gone through about 20 items here. Those are my favorite things right now. If you guys like this video, leave a comment below or a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.